And here's our own very special guest. Tonight and every night. Our little girl, Chastity. You don't remember your parents together? No. Mm -mm. I don't have memories till later in life, in fact. Till at least like four, five, six. I don't remember anything from my early childhood. Why did he feel like this was the time to, to let himself sort of be out there like Well, this? you know, he, yeah, you're right. He is a very private, shy person. He's never really liked being in the limelight. But he also realized if he did it, it was going to be done in public. Yeah. You know, he couldn't do it in private. And he wrestled with that for a long time because he didn't want, he kind of didn't want to be in all the tabloids and all that sensational media writing about him having a sex change. So he came up with this idea, even though he doesn't really like being in front of the camera, it's just like, well, maybe if I own it and make a film about it, at least to some degree I can be in control of the situation, you know, rather than having my story told for me by... TMZ or yeah. the National Enquirer, you know? And I think that was a very kind of smart move. It's, everything is changing. There's so much clarity coming, and I'm sure there'll be more things that I discovered that I just didn't realize until I went on hormones and started to feel comfortable. How are you feeling? Pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. Cher is involved in the film, and, and she you interviewed her, and the film sort of portrays their relationship as somewhat problematic, and, and so you want to maybe talk about, from an outsider's perspective, how you sort of view Chaz's relationship with Cher. We didn't set out to interview her at all. You know, this was Chaz's story, but as we got into it, I think we all came to the conclusion that any time you're going to transition, it's something that involves your parents. You know, they, your friends, your loved ones, they have to kind of transition too. They don't have to change their sex, but they do have to change their thinking. And we realized that Chaz was a, you know, a crucial part of the story. And she had no sort of qualms about being portrayed in, in the manner that sort of she comes across. In the interview, Cher is, I feel, not really Cher the superstar, but Cher the mum. And she just is very upfront and honest and direct in a way that I think is incredibly brave. You know, some people have said, oh, you know, she has so many gay fans, aren't they going to be upset with her? And I think not. I think her gay fans will, as any fan, would respect the fact that even though she is a huge superstar, she came to this interview and just told it from a very honest perspective as a parent. You're nervous. No, I'm not. But Come on. Because if you would have any hesitation, You're we're not sweating. doing it. I'm nervous. That's it? I have to hit this giant <laughs> Yeah. The film does focus on Chaz, but it also very much focuses on his girlfriend, Jenny. And that's an interesting situation because, assumingly, Jenny was a lesbian right. and was with Chastity. And they go from being lesbians to a heterosexual couple. In the beginning, he didn't have much of a sex drive. And now he has a very high sex drive, and I don't need sex as much as he does. I think we all thought it was about the physical changes, but it's actually not about the physical. It's about the psychological changes that are really actually more profound. I hope that in watching this film, people can see that it isn't so weird, it isn't so freaky, it isn't so threatening, and that they can just let themselves be who they are. And in so doing, understand the predicament of transgender people and be less, create an atmosphere of understanding and tolerance. What's next for Friends and Bailey? I'm going to get a sex change. <laughs> <laughs> Is that going to be a Why not? <laughs> Good night, everybody. God bless you. Uh -huh.